another day for the glory of the Son of God, how we love Jesus, who saved our really messed up lives. Thank you, Lord, giving you praise and worship every day. What? We're giving him praise for saving our lives. I do it every day. Giving you praise and worship every day. Thanks for saving my Trisha Tippin, Lord. What did they get? What was it? The, the Tippins? Say what they, what they get? On the mic. <laughs> Man, thank you so much. Wait a minute, Trisha and her husband. Anyway, thank you so much, Trisha. We appreciate it. And uh, just Josiah, a new guy from the Philippines. I know Rodolfo. I remember that name. Come on, giving you praise, God. Giving you praise and worship every day. And giving you praise and worship for saving my life every day. I thank you and giving you praise and worship every day. not forget this you guys we must not leave the spirit of the fear of the Lord is first and then the spirit of humility is second the body of Christ worldwide needs to walk in the spirit of the fear of the Lord and humility I've been thinking it for about three days wow even when I wasn't feeling good I went Lord the spirit of humility we're giving you praise and worship every day for saving our lives, praise and worship. Come on, somebody help me out. Deep down, giving you praise and worship every day. Cause you saved, you saved, you straightened out my life. You saved me and straightened out my life. Na, 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 na. This is why it comes up out of my spirit. Man, I was heading down the wrong pathways, buddy. As a teenager, a high-level athlete, elite singer in a band, smoking by the time I'm 15. My parents never smoke. I'm drinking by the time I'm 15. I'm doing drugs by the time I'm 16 and 17. And listen, he squared away. He straightened out my life. How many of you, I want to see the hearts and thumbs in Instagram. He straightened out your life. I want to see people respond right now. If he helps square away, straighten out your life. Oh, my God. Because tonight, by the way, Psalm 36, first four verses are hardcore against the wicked, man. And that's where I would have been except for the grace and mercy of a loving God. How about you? Well, we're giving you praise and worship every day. We're giving you praise. And worship every day, every day, every day. We're giving you praise, Lord, and worship every day. For straightening out, you saved my life. You saved my life and squared away my. You straightened out my life, Lord. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm giving you, I'm giving you praise. Worship every day. Giving you praise. Worship every day. into old school because we can.
just enter in deep tonight. Praise your name, Lord Jesus. You're my rock. You're my rock. You're you, Lord. We gaze upon your beauty tonight. We gaze upon your beauty tonight, God. Look at you, Lord. And we praise your... We come aside, Lord. We come aside to praise your name, Lord Jesus. Thank you for all you've done and what you're yet to do, Lord. Come on, 
on, sing the Lord. Put that river out there, out of your deep heart of worship. Yeah, yeah, na, 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 na. Express my love, all oh, my love for you, Lord. I don't know, I keep trying every day. How could I ever express how my gratitude for what you've done for? I'm a very thankful man. I'm a small, small man, but I'm very thankful for your love and your mercy. Your great love. It's who you are. I learned this from my buddy, my worship buddy, Harry Schrader. He pulled this out down at the Gateway House of Prayer. I said, what are you doing, bro? I never heard this song. I guess it's from Vertical Worship. The guys up in Chicago, I don't know if they're still there or not, the band's still together, but it says this. Treasure.
do it again yeah. to you are Jesus yeah to you are my God yeah to you I'll always be yeah. it's who you are God it's who you it does my soul well to sing it God it's who you this does my soul so much good it's who you'll always be third verse seeker seeker of finding the lost you're my savior I'm bearing my cross you are worthy I know you didn't hear that you are worthy Worthy Lamb of God You are the worthy Lamb of God Worthy Lamb of God no, no, no. Worthy Lamb of God You're the Lamb that was slain yeah, yeah. Yeah, You are worthy Lamb of God Lamb of God, worthy Lamb of God, you're the Lamb that was slain for my sins and the sins of, sing it out, well, worthy Lamb of God, worthy Lamb of God, yeah, worthy Lamb of God, you were slain. up in your spirit is that it's who you are now. it's who you are yeah. it's who you will always this is who you were on the earth Lord Jesus it's who you were in heaven before you came it's who you are right now Lord you're the lamb that was slain the healer the everlasting wonderful consular everlasting father this is who you are we focus tonight on who you are and who you'll always be god take us to school lord we want to go to the school of the holy spirit and train us in the revelation and the light of who you are and what you do and who you'll always be god i want to know at the tip of my heart and the tip of my tongue I want to know everything about who you are. Oh, 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 oh. I want to know everything about who you are. Yeah. Hear my cry tonight, Lord. Yeah. I'd like to know everything about who you This is our little prayer song. Give us your revelation, ring God. Give us your revelation, ring. I'd like to know everything about who you are, who you are. Come on, Lord, hear me. I'd like to know everything about who you are and what you do and what you do. I want to, I want to know. I want it on the tip of my heart and the tip of my tongue so we can pray for anybody, anywhere, you guys, for miracles and to break out of the Spirit because we know there's no person in the world that can lie to us. There's no prime minister or a government official can tell us who he is and who he's not. No way, because we know we had a revelation. What? 
I had a revelation of who you are. <laughs> I had a revelation many years ago of who you are. But I'd like to know everything I can about it, who you are. Let's pray right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we're asking you, to show us everything about the dear Son of God, the Lamb that was slain coming back as the Lion of Judah. We want to see through the summer, Lord, before the fall, give us ever-increasing understanding and faith about who you are and what you do. Okay, buddy, before I run out of time, I brought a special old-school song that came right up out of Psalm 36. It's called Under the Shade. <laughs> it's right in this psalm. Under the shadow of your wings. Let, let me find the verse here. Got a couple other songs in here. But Psalm 30, this is day 91, and I'm, I'm so grateful to Matt for Carla. We've been going 91 days straight, and just so people are not disappointed, I'm going to do tomorrow, and then I'm going to Heston, Kansas, so there'll be like a three-day break. Now, Ariel and Jared, my youngest daughter, are going to be doing Saturday night seeking and soaking. They're at least as good as I am, if not even better. <laughs> That little Ariel girl will bring the rain. So you don't want to miss Saturday night and Instagram. I know Matt says we have a lot more people there. So Saturday night at 7.30 is Ariel. But today, while I, while I found Psalm 36 last night, and again, I said, Lord, how did I not do this sooner? But because it's hardcore, the first four verses on the wicked. But then it says, um, let me get there for a minute. Oh, here it is, verse 7. How precious is your loving kindness, O oh God. Therefore, the children of men put their trust and their hope under the shadow of your wings. Come on now. Better say it again, Ken. I know. I better get it right. It says, how precious is your loving kindness, Lord. Therefore, the children of men, saved and unsaved, come to you to put their trust and their hope under the shadow of your wings. This is John Stevenson. He's an apostolic man of God, probably in his 50s now. He's younger than us, but I don't know. He might be 60. He, he sent me a song, Kent, I'm stuck. I said, what, John? Because he had been a guest speaker at the conference. He had come down in the 90s. And he says, Kent, I've got this under the shadow, like little chorus. Can you write a verse? He said, I don't know. Let's see what you got. He started under the shadow of your wings. I will find God a hiding place. You are my refuge, a fortress in whom I can trust. Let's learn that, and then I'll tell you what I wrote down that little verse. And under the shadow of your wings, I will find a hiding place. You are my refuge, a fortress in This is what came out of my spirit. We walked it out. Yeah. And 
you are my strength and my shield oh God Under the shadow of your wings will I abide, and in your loving arms I will. Come on, stay with me. This is so precious. It's getting us ready for Psalm 36. The modulation appeared into the key of C. And under the shadow of your wings, I will find my hiding place. Well, you are my refuge, a fortress in whom I can trust. I said, under of your wings I will find a hiding place you are my refuge you are my I'm going to ask Carla what do you remember about this song Carla <laughs> with John Stevenson under the shadow. Do you remember the story? No. Oh, I thought you were getting ready to share something. That's all right. We're cool. Come on, you guys. I want you to close your eyes. Envision it before the throne room. And under the shadow of your wings, I will find a high. You are my refuge, a fortress in whom I can trust under the shadow of your wings where I will find a high. Let's do that little verse. You are my strength. You are my strength and my shield, oh God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I run to you and I find my head. Of your wings will I abide, and in your loving arms I will hide. Come on, do it again. You're my strength and my shield. Oh. You are my strength ah, and my shield. Oh. Jesus, 
Of your wings will I abide And in your loving arms And in your loving arms I will hide And under the shadow Of your This was perfect for the night. Again, I was sitting there this afternoon going, oh, here's the song that popped up in my spirit. Welcome to Psalm 36. Get your hard copy Bible, your immediate, whatever you got, Jesus. And I want Carla just to do the favorite verses on top there. Anything she wants to share, let's go. Psalm 36, 12 verses, man. Lord, we Jesus. enter in today to drink from your fountain of life. Mm. We come to your fountain of life for our daily water, for our daily substance. We drink at the rivers of your delights. We rely totally on your mercy, God, because it reaches to the heavens, your faithfulness. Wow reaches yes. to the clouds. Your righteousness is just like the mountain Jesus. We rely on your mercy. Your mercy seat love, God. Oh my God. <laughs> and we humble ourselves before you, Lord. We come before you in the spirit of the fear of the Lord. That we might, that you might show us something. It's all in your spirit and in your word, and you bring revelation as we come before you with a humble heart and a thirsty spirit. We thank you now in Jesus' name. Psalm 36, verse 1 An oracle within my heart concerning the transgression of the wicked. There is no fear of God before his eyes. Oh my God. Sin speaks in the depths of the soul of those who oppose God. They listen closely to sin and its urgings. You'll never see the, see the fear Jesus. of God in their eyes. Wow. The wicked man said, my trespass is my concern alone. Wow. And so the fear of God, the reverence for God, is not in his heart. The rebellion of sin speaks as an oracle of God, speaking yeah. deeply to the conscience of wicked men. Yeah. Yet they are still eager to sin, yeah. for the fear of God is not before their eyes. For he flatters himself in his own eyes when he finds out his iniquity and when he hates. For they flatter themselves, convinced their sin will remain secret, undiscovered and so unhated but he did deceitfully before God until his wickedness was found to be hateful see how they flatter themselves unable to detect and detest their sins they are crooked and conceited convinced that they can get away with anything this is what we're singing on verses 1 and 2 we want Your deepest heart, 
in light of verses one and two, we pray and sing a song. Yeah, we want Lord how yes we need your deepest heart for our lives. The fear of the Lord again. Here it is. We want Lord yeah. We desperately need your deepest heart for our daily lives. God, impart your deepest heart, your deepest. I love this, man. Yeah. We want what? We need, our deepest need is to know the deepest parts of your heart for the world, the nations, and your kingdom. God, what? We want, yeah, we need God desperately, the deepest compartments that, come on, sing it out, we got stuck right here in Revelation, right? oh, we want, okay, we desperately need the deepest heart, your deepest heart, Lord, come on, sing it. of your heart for the world for the nations and your kingdom God sing it out we want a right we need yeah the deepest parts of your heart for the nations the poor and your kingdom oh God we want God yeah we need yeah the deepest part that this is the psalm of David and then he he scorched a man he he had been thinking about the wicked and people that don't have the fear of the Lord he laid it out it was really good Carla verses 3 and 4 he keeps going before we get to the updraft of the positive part of the psalm he said the words of the wicked's mouth what David well they're full of wickedness and deceit he has ceased to be wise and he will do no good. Wow. He devises wickedness on his bed. Absolutely. You know they do. They're just thinking about it all the time. He sets himself in a way that is not good. He does not abhor evil. What a King James word. He does not hate evil. They speak words of evil and deceit. All right. Wisdom and goodness. Check this out. They've deserted these years ago. Even as they sleep, they're plotting mischief. Wow. Man, I'm not for that. In the journey, they journey along this path far from anything good, gravitating to trouble, welcoming evil. Oh, my God. The words of his mouth be wicked and deceitful. This is the Wycliffe translation. He desires not to understand he desires not to understand, to do good. Wow, yeah, there's real people like this in the world, right, people? Man. He thought of wickedness on his bed, and he stood near to all in these ways that are not good. He stood near to the ways that are not good. And in truth, he did not hate malice. Their wicked words are nothing but lies, and wisdom is far from them. Goodness is both forgotten and goodness has been forsaken. I'll come back and sing it. The passion finishes verse 4. They lie awake at night to hatch. We got to pray against this stuff, you guys. Seriously, we got to pray the turning of their heart and God blocks it off. There's people doing this right now in America and England, New Zealand. They're doing it. They're just full of wickedness. They need to be saved. Always planning their scheme of darkness and never once. Do they consider goodness will not be forgotten and forsaken? Your goodness, O oh Lord, we will not forsake it, will not forget your kindness, O oh, your goodness, Lord. We will not forsake it or forget it, O oh Lord. 
will not be forsaken. Will not forget your mercy, your goodness, God. Oh, yeah. While the wicked are doing the opposite, you guys, here's what we'll be doing. We're singing it right. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, your goodness will not be forsaken or forgotten by the Lord. Your goodness, the Lord, will not be forsaken. We will not forget it. Your mercy, your goodness will not be forsaken, will not forget your mercy, oh Lord. Goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. I said goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. I said your goodness and your mercy will follow me all the days of my life goodness and mercy come on we gotta sing it one more time yeah, 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 yeah. oh your goodness will not be forsaken will not forget your mercy your goodness yeah we will not forsake it god and your mercy not forgotten your goodness yeah oh, oh. we will not forsake it and your mercy we will not forget your goodness that's where we're going you guys that's our song out of a negative connotation of verse there's the positive song for the body of christ and the people of the lord verse five your mercy oh is in the heavens your faithfulness reaches to the clouds your love O eternal one towers high into the heavens even the skies are lower than your faithfulness but you O lord your mercy seat love is limitless reaching higher than the highest heavens your great faithfulness is infinite stretching over the whole earth. Your righteousness is like the great mountains. Your judgments are a great deep ocean. You preserve wow. man and beast. Oh my God. Your justice, your justice is like the majestic mountains. Your judgments <laughs> are as deep as the oceans. Wow. And yet in your greatness, you, O eternal, offer life for every person and animal. Your righteousness is unmovable, just like the mighty mountains. Your judgments are as full of wisdom as the oceans are full of water. Your tender care and kindness leave no one forgotten, not a man, nor even a mouse. Not even a man, not a man or even a mouse. I gotta sing, your mercy seat love is limitless, Lord. attracting my heart it has no boundaries your mercy seat love keeps attracting my heart it's no boundaries gotta owe to your mercy seat love keeps attracting my heart it has no boundaries Lord it's verse 5 of the passion Come on, we gotta go there and sing that. Nah, nah, nah. What a word, a phrase. Your mercy seed love keeps attracting my heart. It knows no boundaries of your mercy seed love. Keeps attracting my heart. It knows no boundaries, mercy seed love. What is this love? Mercy seat love, yeah, yeah. Mercy seat love. Thank you, God. It's so high. It goes to the heavens, yeah. Oh, your mercy seat love keeps attracting my heart. 
it's no boundaries, Lord, well, your mercy. You better get to the mercy seat. Woo! I hope you guys know what that is now. Oh, your mercy seat, love, keeps attracting my heart. No boundaries with your mercy seat, love. Keeps attracting my heart. There's no boundaries, and Lord, it's your mercy seat, love. Keeps attracting my heart. No boundaries. And your justice, like the majestic mountains. So here we go. How precious. Keeps going, man. It can't stop. It's so great. How precious is your loving kindness, O oh, Heavenly Father. Therefore, the children of men will put their trust, oh, here it is, under the shadow of your wings. Your strong love, O oh, true God, is precious. And all people run for shelter to be under the shadow of your wings. For you, God, have multiplied your love and your mercy. Oh, for Lord, you've multiplied your love and your mercy. Somebody say, thank God. They put them in the same sentence. This is the wiggle. You multiplied your love and your mercy. You can't miss out on this now. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. So the sons and the daughters of men, they come in hope and trust in the covering of your wings. They come in hope and trust. Have you guys done it? I know I do this. I, I came to the Lord with hope and trust to get under the covering of his wings because I knew I'd have protection. I could start growing and I could become a giant believer for the Son of God. I could become a giant man of God underneath Jesus, man, for you multiplied your love and your mercy so the sons and daughters of men hope and trust in the covering of your wings. How precious is your mercy, O Elohim. The sons of men, they take refuge. What? The sons of men take refuge. I didn't understand you, Ken. Okay, I'll sing it again. The sons of men take refuge in the shadow of your the Son of Man take refuge. Oh, this is good right here. I said, The Son of Man take refuge. Ah, the sons and daughters of men take refuge. Woo! In the shadow of your wings, yeah. And how extravagant is your cherishing love. How extravagant is your cherishing love? Oh, how extravagant is your cherishing love for all mankind? This is the passion. He said, how extravagant is your, I've never even seen this before, the cherishing love of the Lord. This is like at the marriage ceremony when they make the commitment to love and cherish till death do us part. Not because we're selfish and we're the me generation. It says you're cherishing love. Oh, sing it again. Oh, oh. How extravagant is your cherishing love? How extravagant is your cherishing love? All mankind can find the hiding place in the shadow of your wings. Yeah. Extravagant is your cherishing love. How extravagant is your cherishing love? How extravagant, Lord, is your cherishing love for all of mankind? Check it. The sons of men will find refuge. Yeah. The sons and daughters, I said, the sons and daughters of men, they come and find refuge in you, Lord. 
refuge in you, sons and daughters of men. They come and find a refuge in you, a refuge in you. I said the sons and daughters of men. shelter in the shadow I said in the shadow of your wing verse 8 they are abundantly satisfied with the fullness of your house and you give them drink from the river of your pleasures in your house they eat and are full at your table. They drink from the river of your overflowing kindness. You feed them with blessings from your table. We feast on the abundant food you provide. You let us drink from the river of your goodness. We drink, let them drink from your rivers of delight. They are satisfied with rich foods at your house and you let them drink from your river of delights. And the Passion says, All may drink of the anointing from the abundance of your house. All may drink their fill from the delightful springs of Eden. So the rivers of delight, you guys, the rivers of his pleasures. We're going we're gonna to actually sing up a prayer. Lord, tonight we're asking Tonight we're here asking for the understanding. What does it mean, rivers of delight? Lord, we're here asking. Lord, we're here asking. What does this mean, rivers of your pleasure? Contemplate. Let's meditate on it again. Lord, tonight we're here asking. Tonight we're here asking. What does this mean, river of pleasure? River of delights. We want to know. Well, tonight we're here asking, God. Well, tonight we're here. What does this mean? Rivers of pleasure, rivers of delight. For we want to sit at your table and eat. We want to drink from your river of delight. Your river of delight. You're releasing light on it right now, God. We want to sit and eat at your table, Lord, and then drink from your river, your river of deep. This is so pow powerful, Lord, and potent. I've hardly heard any teaching ever on this. So, so tonight, God, we're asking you to unveil verse 8 here in your presence, God about the river of your pleasures, the river, and we're going to stay after it, God. Yeah. Oh, tonight we're here asking, Lord. Tonight we're here asking, what does this mean? Your river of delights, a river of your pleasure. Oh, tonight we're here asking, Tonight we're asking, what does this mean, river, river of delight? And then further in verse 9, for with you, Lord, yes, is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. You have the fountain of life that quenches our thirst. These are so premium scriptures, you guys. Your light has opened our eyes and awakened our souls. 
for life's own fountain is within your presence. Oh, we hear it again. For life's own fountain is within your presence. Of course it is. Now check this out. And in your smile. What? And in your smile, we have the light of life. This is the Moffat translation. I'll say it again. I could not pass this up. In your smile, Lord, you smile at us. Then we have the light of life. Wow. For the wellspring of life is with you, Lord. The wellspring of life. All life came from you. Let me have an amen. All life comes from you, Lord. And by means of your light, we're now seeing light, Lord. To know you. To know you is to experience a flowing fountain. Thank you. Drinking in your life. Springing up to satisfy. In your light we receive the light of revelation. And here's a note from the Passion. The Garden of Eden has flowing rivers of delight. Eden means in Hebrew pleasure. So the Hebrew word here, in the it's a plural form of Eden. You have many Edens, rivers of pleasure for your believers. Fountains, fountains of refreshing. And in your light we receive the light of revelation. We receive the light of revelation, yeah. Fountains are flowing, wellspring of life. Fountains are flowing, you're the wellspring of life. And in your light we receive the light of revelation, yeah, yeah. You're the fountain of life, a wellspring of all life. You're the fountain of life, the wellspring of all life. And in your light, God, we receive the light of revelation. You smile at us, God, and there it is, yeah. The fountains of life, the wellsprings of life are with you. And we see light in your light. We get light of revelation. The fountain of life, yeah, yeah. For with you is the fountain of life. For in you is the wellspring of life. And your light as you smile. You give us the light of life. Ah, 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 ah. For with you is the fountain of life. And with you, it's in you, the wellspring of light. And by your light, we receive the light of revelation. Verse 10. Oh, continue your loving kindness to those who know you and your righteousness to the upright in heart. May your love continue to grow deeply in the lives of all who know you. May your salvation reach every heart committed to do right. Pour out your unfailing love on those who know you. Never stop giving your blessing to those who long to do your will. Lord, Keep pouring out your unfailing love on those who are near you. Release more of your blessings to those who are loyal to you. In verse 11, let not the foot of pride come against me, Lord, and let not the hand of the wicked. Think about David with enemies and the Psalms he wrote. Wow. Do not let the hand of the wicked drive me away, Lord. Give me shelter, oh buddy, from prideful feet that hunt me down. Wow. <laughs> I think he's serious. Give me shelter, Lord, 
from the wicked hands that push me from your path. Ooh. Don't let those proud ones and merciless people, ooh, that's not a good category, I don't like that category, merciless people kick me around or chase me away, Lord. Don't let those proud boasters trample me down. Don't let them even push me around by the sheer strength of their wickedness, but give me shelter. Give me shelter. Well, you are my shelter is what we'll say. You are my shelter, Lord. From my enemies, you're my shelter, God. You've given me shelter from the cross of Calvary. We have shelter by the blood of Jesus. We have shelter. Thank God we've entered into a new and a living way in the New Testament. You are here singing out. You are my shelter. Oh, oh, oh my sh you're my shelter. Woo! You're my shelter, Lord. Because of Calvary, you're my shelter. Come on, keep going on that. You're my shelter, and I will not be deceived. You're my shelter. From the cross on Calvary, oh my, you became my shelter, and I thank you, Lord. I will follow hard after you. I will follow hard, Lord. Hard after I'm in pursuit of God. Are you in pursuit of God? Yeah, yeah. You're my shelter. Yeah. You're my shelter. Even against the greatest enemy. You're my shelter. Yeah. You're my shelter. of iniquity have fallen. They have been cast down and are not able to rise. It is there, far away from you, that the wicked will be forced down, face to the earth, never again returning to their feet. See where evil people have fallen. There they lie, unable to rise. There they lie in the dirt, these evil ones, thrown down to the ground, never to arise again. Because of your tender mercies, O oh Lord, you're my shelter. Come on, let's capstone with this little song. Because of your tender mercies, you're my shelter. Oh, it's so sweet, yeah. Because of your tender mercies, of you, Lord, I have my refuge, yeah, because of Jesus Christ, I have, come on one more time, you are my shelter, you are my shelter, God, because of your tender mercy. Mercies, you are my shelter. 
shelter because of you, Jesus. You're my refuge. You are my shelter. Oh, my God. This is transforming our heart and our soul. Yeah, let them fly there. Yeah, Instagram, what's up? You are my shelter. You are my, come on, by faith. You sing and shelter and rep. You are my shelter. You are my refuge. You are my shelter. Love it. You are my refuge. Under the shadow of your wings, you are my shelter. You are my refuge. Yeah. You are my shelter. You are my refuge. Thank you, Psalm 36, bro. Wow. David blew it up, man. And I want you to concentrate. Mark two or three of your favorite verses. Just say, I'm staying in it for a minute. I'm staying in it for a minute. Because you are my shelter. Because in, in your light, we receive light, Lord. I love that one. And then we're going to eat food at your table. Check it out. We're going to drink from the rivers of your delights. I go, wow, come on now. Let's get after that. Let's get a couple spirit-filled theologians and knock that out. That would be really good. But this has been a good day, day 91. I'm very grateful to the Lord for his sustenance, his strength, his power, even for Matt, for Taryn, and for Carla. And we're very grateful. I'm going to keep doing it. We're living with two spirits, the spirit of the fear of the Lord, and I'm walking in the spirit of humility. Uh, let me see the sign on that, man. Spirit of the fear of the Lord, what? Gotcha. <laughs> and the spirit of humility and we're going to take down giants in the kingdom of darkness move them out of the way so thousands and millions can know he whom the Lord sets free is what? finish it is free in their deeds Uncle Matt it's all you buddy Amen well thank you guys for joining for day 91 Psalm 36 again you heard that correct day 91 uh, we're just so thankful for everybody joining us each and every day this is worship Wednesday we're usually down at the Gateway House of Prayer but that's been closed for a couple of weeks for cleanings uh, so be praying for that there's a couple things that uh, happen down there that they need to clean up so uh, we just want to be uh, thankful for you guys coming and uh, joining us tonight hit that like button if you can hit that share button as well we want to reach more people like i kind of switched up the stream the way that i put this up for facebook and it seems like we've maybe not reached as many people but i'll get that figured out but uh i didn't want the video to keep cutting out like it did a couple nights ago so uh we have it going up and so if you miss anybody if you see somebody that's not on there please let them know we're still here maybe uh something got disconnected in the works i don't know but uh we're so thankful for all you that jumped on most likely that's just a Facebook issue. So uh, if you're on Facebook and you, you see that you're missing somebody. If you're on Instagram, hit that follow button for us. If you're just joining us, we go live every single day. We have been for 91 days, and it uh, looks like we're coming to a close for that, Just, uh, but we're still going to be going live five days a week. So make sure that you have your notifications turned on no matter what platform you're on so that you get notified when we're going live. Again, you just finished watching day 91 in the books, so make sure you check out the Kent Henry Facebook page and our YouTube page for 90 other of hour and a half long versions of psalms going like now worship and psalm um, which is what you just experienced there so and then if you want to help support the stream we try to raise about three hundred dollars per stream to get our monthly budget going with the pandemic and all the slowdown stuff um, this has been amazing that the lord has been giving us this platform to yes. be able to do this to share this with Thank you guys you, to intercede with one another i just love seeing in all the comments everybody has gotten to know each other just uh, they're chatting online with yes. each other Beautiful. this is the online worship prayer community that we yeah. want 
So if you want to help support us today, you can do so through our website, chmin.org, which is for Carriage House Ministries, or kenthenry.com, which is for Kent Henry Ministries. About the same, we're, we're all funneled into the same place, about the same stuff. So you can check out the donations button right there. If you click that donations button, that'll take you to our donations page. And uh, you can check out the uh, donate by check, which a lot of people have been wanting to do still. And uh, that's the address there that you can donate to. Or if you go to the top of the page, you'll be able to see that you can become a monthly supporter. You can do a one-time donation or the 12 campaign all right here from our website. Um, that's all done safe and secure through Give Lively, our partner. Um, if you want to check out all the details of what you're giving toward, you can find it right here on this page. You can also jump onto the store, check out the products that we have there, the worship resources that have been developed over 40 years of ministry from my dad and all the things that he's done throughout the years. Anything we have rights to and are able to sell, we're selling right here on the store. So check that out. You can also give right through the store by adding it to your cart. We also have PayPal available for the PayPal users out there at paypal.me slash chmin. Again, that's paypal.me. You'll see this exact screen that you're seeing now uh, just kind of centered. You'll want to go to your browser window, put in paypal.me slash chmin. You can... Uh, uh, log in. You can become a monthly supporter. You can give a one-time gift. Anything um, that you see there, you can you can do. We also have uh, for our Facebook users a, a monthly donations uh, page that we set up, a fundraiser, where we try to get uh, make it easy for any Facebook users to click right over. All this is in the comments pinned on the video right now. Whether you're watching it on YouTube or whether you're watching it on Facebook, Instagram, there's a link in bio for any of those friends who want to click over and see what's going on there. Um, so make sure you check out our donations fundraiser here on Facebook if you're a Facebook user. Also, there's comments or uh, stars available in the comments, I should rather say. And those are worth one cent a piece and uh, you can pick any amount. You can buy them in bulk, you can give them in bulk, or you can give them in small amounts. So if you buy a bunch in bulk, like, you know, $5 worth or whatever, or $20 worth, hit that custom button and fill out how many stars you want to give. That's kind of how that works. It's all done through the normal PayPal payment methods, which you guys are familiar with if you're on PayPal. We also also have the Give 12, um, the texting. You can do Give 12 in your message box to 44321. That number is five uh, digits, I understand, but you do 44321 as the phone number. You put Give 12 or CHM Give, and it will generate a link right back to you in response that you can click on, and you can see what's going on on the other end with our Give Lively partner, where you can give safely and securely. We can also check out the Psalms Project, which is PSALMS to 44321. There's a whole YouTube video on there kind of outlaying what that project project is about and how you can help support that. There's also the Smile program. If you're an Amazon user, we like to tell everybody that uh, there's a Smile program which gives a 5% or half percent donation of all your purchases to a nonprofit of your choice. I do have a link in the descriptions as well that will take you right over to that. So you basically have to go to smile.amazon.com if you're in the U.S. instead of amazon.com, but it's the same thing. You can buy all the stuff that you usually do and uh, do it all through that, and they will donate a half percent to us just for your normal everyday shopping nothing else or less to you so we are so thankful for you guys jumping on for day 91 <laughs> be praying for kent as he is still slated to go out of town this weekend he has been recovering from a cold as you might be able to hear in the voice so we want to have strength of the lord yes. uh, put over him so all the friends be praying for him we will be back tomorrow at 4 p.m central time it looks like we're going to be doing monday through thursday consecutively and then doing the saturday nights we'll take the fridays and uh, sundays off it's what we're thinking about right now obviously he'll be going out of town here this weekend so he won't be able to do those normal things anyway so, but make sure you come back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Central Time in the United States. And we'll also be doing the Seeking and Soaking Saturday night with Ariel yes. and Jared. So make sure you let other people know we're here. You know, word of mouth and all that stuff, even in this digital age, even if you can text somebody or call them and say, hey, I've been really blessed by getting online and worshiping with these people. Um, there's plenty of avenues for people to jump on with us anywhere you are. Please hit that like and subscribe or the follow button, whichever platform you're on. We want to connect with you guys on a regular basis. So make sure you like and, and share and do all that stuff. And we will finish up with some more worship. Yeah, you guys, man. Um. Yeah, I'm just going to tell you straight up, day 88 and 89, I barely remember. <laughs> but um, because I was out uh, shoveling mulch at a big, you know, depot where it's free, and I didn't realize there was this kind of red dust in it. And after about 20 minutes, I realized the wind was blowing that into my lungs. And, dude, Saturday night, it fired up. And I'm not sure it was then I had to call my 
my doctor, Dr. John Wiener. And uh, man, I was hacking up green stuff. I don't want to be gross, but I'm telling you. And uh, I felt like, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I felt like, but uh, I, I'm just grateful. I just, I, I'm sharing that because you got to know, you know, we, we're troopers. We move on. But because Matt said, Dad, listen, you are gone 85, 86, 87 days. But I do want you to pray because this weekend we're doing the last 35 of 105 counties in Kansas. And you say, why is Kansas important? Because Dutch Sheets and Chuck Pierce said, Kansas, a tent of glory is going to open and it's going to touch the whole heartland. I live in the heartland of America. I'm in St. Louis, Missouri. We're in Franklin County. But we live Missouri, Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa, Go down south, Arkansas, Oklahoma. We are we are the heartland. What some of the uh, different politicians call us flyover, <laughs> but our vote still counts. And what I'm saying is that we're, we're believing God for a great awakening. Before I get out of here, I just had my birthday, and again, thank you. Many many people gave. I think Carla said it was between four and five thousand dollars came in as birthday wishes, and it gets us down the road. Thank you so much. But we're, we're praying over Kansas. I want to see a great awakening. I'm 67. I'm in good health, no medications. I don't have blood pressure and all the other stuff. I mean, it usually happens. And I'm very grateful. But I want to see a great awakening. I want to see a great revival in the nations. I'm not here just to lead worship for until I'm 70 or 80. Hey, Ken, he was crazy, man. He led worship till he was 82. Well, I might go longer than that, but I got news. We've got to start pressing into heaven. we got to press into heaven for a great awakening. Here's all the terminology. Visitation of the hand of God and outpouring of the Holy Spirit. I can give you ten names for it, but let's go former and latter rain. Pour it out on the heartland and then spread to either coast. I don't care. Start on the east coast, west coast, and the heartland, and we'll meet in the middle. But you guys, I am living on... Continuing on the strength of ministry for Ezekiel 37, 9 and 10, that God said, I'm going to take the slain off the valley floor. I'm going to make it an exceeding great army. Okay, Lord, I'm staying here for that. I'm not moving. I'm not, I'm not getting out of the way. I want to see an exceeding great army raised up off, uh, well, they're d divorced two or three times. They're back on opioids or alcohol. And I mean, it's a hard life. I get it. And there's a, a devil out there in the kingdom of darkness, but I just believe it's time for the refreshing rain, revival rain of heaven to sweep through every nation, every tribe, tongue, and dialect. And then Jesus is coming back. He said, I say Maranatha. <laughs> Find me in your river. Find me there. Find me on my knees with my soul laid. Thank you, Martin Smith. Even though I'm and I'm cracked and dry, find me in your river. Come on, let's get capstone. Let's finish out our stream with a delirious song. Find me in the river. Get us ready for your great revival. Uh -oh. Stand in your river, God. Find me on my knees. I got my soul laid bare. Even though you're gone, and sometimes I'm cracked and dry. Find me in your river. I'm waiting here. We're waiting here for you, Lord. Sylvia said, monsoon, bring it on. So find me in the river. And find me on my knees. I walked against the water. I walked against the water, Lord. And now I'm waiting, if you please. It's so cold. Lord, I'm waiting, if you please. He was polite. We've longed to see the roses. But we...
we never felt the thorns we bought our pretty crown but we never paid the price find me in your river Find me there Find me on my knees, Lord I've got my soul laid bare Even though you're gone Sometimes I'm cracked and dry Find me in your river Find me in the river of his delights after Psalm 36, 36 the night. Find me in the river of your pleasures, Lord, yeah, eating at your table. Find me in the river of your delights, feasting at your table. Here we are. Blessings in the valley. Check this. Oh, such great lyrics. Then in this river, I will wait. But if the blessings in the valley, but if the blessings in the valley, then in this river, I will if the blessings in this valley, then in this river I will wait. If your blessing is found right here in this valley, Lord, yeah, then in this river I will wait. One more time, find me. Find me in your river, Lord. Find Revival boy, find me on my knees. I've got my soul laid bare, even though you're gone and I'm cracked and dry. Find me in your river. <laughs> find me. Jesus is so heartfelt, it's real. Find me in your river. I am waiting here for you. Matt's praying us out because I can't. It's too overwhelming.
Yes, Lord, we just thank you for this time of worship. We thank you for 91 days in the books of doing your word, doing psalms, God, for reaching those in the world and doing this together, lifting you high when the world is putting you down, God, and when they are running from you, God, we will lift you higher and higher and higher, and we will seek you more and more and more. We thank you for this opportunity to freely come together with folks all over the planet lift your name high god we just praise you tonight we thank you and we ask that you'd find us here in the river the river of your life god the the river of your love and let it flow through us god we want more and more of your spirit holy spirit we just ask you to run quickly and swiftly and rest on each heart each mind that's seeing this now that's seeing it in the future that you would break in with an amazing power and that we would see you move in a greater measure yes. in every country and every yes. location where we are, that you would just break in with supernatural strength and do what only you can do. We seek you first and we seek you only. We love you and we ask for you to come in a greater measure even now. Until tomorrow, friends, in Jesus' name, amen. See us tomorrow at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time.